Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can run LMs locally using Olama. And Olama is a pretty nice open source tool application which we can download, and then it allows us to actually very, very quickly run these LMs locally and also pretty optimized. So it's actually a very nice way to get some quick local interactions, and it's also a very powerful tool for local development of actually running these models to integrate into your AI collaboration pipelines to be able to test everything. But shortly, what we would simply do, we just go to Llama, we would download as with any other application, we can then start it, and we can then connect to it using our terminal. And if you're familiar with Docker, it has, I think, maybe some inspired in our CLI, or oh, it's pretty common CLI setup, but we would just use the Olama as a base comment, and we can then do Olama. Let's first do maybe dash v, just to ensure that it's actually installed. We can then do a list to see which models we've already installed. You would not have any models installed if you just downloaded Olama, but I have a few old ones. But then how we would simply add a model is we would just go to the Olama page, and we can look for models. And currently, DeepSeek is very um, popular, to say the least. So let's just, for the fun of it, try to look at some of the models. We can see the different sizes. So let's not download one of them that's too big. Let's just do 7B parameters. And we would then simply just copy this download command, which is then going to be running it or downloading it and running it. So let's actually just try to pull it. And we would see here in my case, it's 4.7 gigabytes. I'm just going to give it a few seconds to run. And we're then going to have a look and see if it works. And now we are just about done. It's then downloaded the model. So our local computer, of course, going to take up some space. But still, I think this is an amazing tool to be able to just download these models and run them and utilize them locally. And it's just going to finish up, pulling everything it needs. And then, of course, it's verifying. So it's kind of checking, is the downloaded things we downloaded actually how they're supposed to be? Again, very useful. And here we go. So now we actually have DeepSeq R1, the 7. B parameter version running locally, and we can actually just use it. So let's do what is a car. And we can see here we actually just get a pretty quick response. Again, my computer is, is decent, it's not the best one, but still spend a few seconds thinking, and we actually get a very comprehensive response here. But this was very much just a showcase, we could do anything. I can then do control D. To exit, we can now do Olama lists, and we can see we now have also installed DeepSeq R1. We could also specify this is a specific version, but right now it's just the R1. One thing to mention: this is an open source framework, which is very nice. So we can actually go look at the code specifically. Everything is free, it's local. It's a very nice tool. And just a quick overview here of the functionality we have. Worth mentioning. When you run Olama in the background, if you integrate it using, I would have integrate it with Spring Boot, then you don't need to start the models, they just start automatically more or less when needed. And we can then otherwise, like we just saw, we can run the models. If they're not local, they're going to be installed. Otherwise, we just run them, we can stop them, and we can also just um, pull and push stuff. So just to showcase again, if I now run it to start the deep sake model once again locally, I would just simply do Olama run DeepSeq, and we get the message, and we can do anything like that. So, an amazing tool if you're doing local LM development integration anyway, and it is very easy, very quick, and just uh, overall a pretty decent experience. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of Olama. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.